The Friends and Foes mod adds a ton of new features, including a new few blocks, eight new mobs, and a few new structures. We're gonna be going over the friends first and then we'll come back over to the foes. The first one we have is the copper golem. You can craft the copper golem by placing a copper block, a carved pumpkin, and a lightning rod on top of each other. And they also love to play with copper buttons. You can use honeycombs on them to keep them from oxidizing and you can use an ax on them to unoxidize them. Like I said, they love buttons copper buttons in particular they love pressing them playing with them all the above and this is what it looks like to craft one next up we have the tough golem pretty much just a display golem he can be turned into a statue staying in place otherwise he will be moving around so you craft one of these with one tough any color wool and a carved pumpkin. And as you can see, he spawns with white because I used white wool. You can use any color wool, change the color of them, as well as using dye on any of them. To make him stay in place as a statue, you hit him with, I guess that did not work. Why, why? You're supposed to hit him with a honeycomb and they no longer move. You can also hand him an item and he will display it for you. So you can have these walking around your house, displaying all your valuables, showing them off up next we have the moo bloom probably the most boring mob in the mod but still cool to have a variety of new animals it just adds this yellow moo bloom with an add-on you can have a moo bloom for every variant of flower all you do with these pretty much just shear them for buttercups once you shear it, it turns into a regular cow you can do the same for the flower versions to get the corresponding flower and you could also milk them but i forgot to show you that so we are moving on the next one is a pretty interesting one it's the glare he does not do much you'll find him in lush caves flying around you can actually tame him with glowberries once you tame them they will be able to fly around and tell you where the light level is low enough for mobs to spawn. You can also breed them with glowberries after you tame them and they will make a little mini glare. And as you can see, you can make them sit and wander as well. So that was all the friend mobs in the mod and we are going to go over the four foes. So first up on the foes, we have the illusioner, which is cousins to the illagers and pillagers. They do have a structure they spawn in, as well as dropping a totem of illusion. All this does is works as a totem of undying and grants you the illusioner's ability when it activates, which is just spawning eight versions of yourself in a circle. Next up, we have the Isolager, which is pretty similar to the illusioner. They are cousins and all they drop is the totem of freezing. This gives you a Tunnel of Undying as well as the Isolager's ability, which is slowing enemies when it activates. Next up, we have the Wildfire, which it looks pretty self-explanatory. It's an upgraded blaze. You do have to destroy the shields floating around it in order to do damage. It has 120 health, pretty powerful. It will drop wildfire crown fragments, which can be crafted into a wildfire crown. When equipped, it will give you some fire resistance. Other than that, it is pretty good. So last but not least, we have the Mauler, which is probably the most useful mob in the mod. And it says it's a foe, but it's actually more like a friend. It does not like rabbits, frogs, or chickens, as well as some mini slimes and baby zombies. These are very, very cute. They have three different colors, as you can see, depending on what biome they spawn in. If you give it an enchanted book or item, it will eat it, store the XP, as well as get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. This is good for a couple of reasons, because as you can see, I have some glass bottles. Right click them to get bottles of enchanting after you fill them up enough. It is also good because all of that enchanted armor that you are never going to use because it's either gold or just trash enchantments, you can now feed to these little pets and get some experience out of it. In my opinion, these are the most useful mobs in the mod because you capture one of these, you can put them on leads, you cannot tame them, but you put it on a lead, capture it, take it home, and then you have unlimited XP. Everyone, that is the Friends and Foes mod. 
I hope you all enjoyed the little showcase. This is my first video back in a while, but I do plan on making more. This was quite fun setting up and recording. So thank you everyone for watching. If you did enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe, and the mod link will be down in the description. Thank you everyone and have a good one.